Vsauce just did a video about the double sixes paradox. And in this scenario, while you know that you have a 1 in 36 chance of dying, or a 35 out of 36 chance of surviving, your friend, who's an observer who finds out that you entered this game, realizes that you had above a 90% chance of perishing. The answer to this paradox is actually quite straightforward. This paradox assumes that your group, no matter what, partook in the study, but it also clarifies that there are infinitely many people, and if there are infinitely many people in the universe that can partake in this game, there will be a one out of infinity chance that you are going to be one of the participants that gets signed up for this game. So your chance of actually participating to have a 90% chance of perishing is actually 0%. So you have a 0% chance of perishing. Because the game hinges on the fact that we don't know how many rounds the game is going, we can assume that no one who signs up for the game will know that they are going to be in the game unless their number is called. So your chances of survival are actually close to 100%. The only way that you can be confident that your chances of winning are 35 out of 36, or if you know before the round takes place that you are participating in the next round. If this is the case, then you know that the dice in the next round have a one out of 36 probability of rolling double sixes. And if your friend also knows the round that you are going to partake in, he also knows that there's only a one out of 36 chance that your group will be the group that dies. No matter where in the lineup, this happens and you end up partaking in the dice roll, this will be the case. And this is proven by the gambler's fallacy, where past events don't change the probabilities of future events. And you know, and your friend knows, that when you walk up there and someone rolls the dice, there is still a one out of 36 chance that double sixes are rolled, even if no double sixes have been rolled however many times before this. The answer to this paradox is that this is actually a regular statistical occurrence in which having more information gives you better odds of predicting an outcome than if you have less information. In this case, it's as if you are a professional football player. And considering there are 32 football teams, your friend who doesn't know anything about your team or how the season has progressed assumes that you only have a one out of 32 chance of being the team that wins the Super Bowl. He assumes this correctly based on the information that he has, but you have the information that in fact, your team is going to the Super Bowl tomorrow and they are almost a shoe in to win. You know that you have better than a one in 32 chance of winning, in fact, from your perspective, you have better than a 50-50 chance of winning the Super Bowl. But from your friend's perspective, he can't have that same information because he doesn't have the same up-to-date information that you have. This, in fact, isn't a paradox at all. It's a regular statistical occurrence. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, and comment below. I really want to hear your feedback. And if you want to further contribute to the growth of this channel, go to patreon.com slash justaskzach, linked in the description below. Here, you can directly support the growth of this channel and its contents.